And then he'll do nothing. <laughs> what? What's that their man base? had a large penis. Mm. Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Ban List Special Podcast. Tonight, we have a few more members. We have our usual brag. We have Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. We have Seb, who's kind of from... No, he's yeah, 100% TCG! <laughs> 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 nice. Hello. And we have Logan from King LB Place. The Snake Rat. The Snake Rat. Whatever the fuck you want to address for. I don't know, I don't know what channel you're running it, this month. I'm <laughs> on Twitch now. Snake Rat on Twitch. Oh. He already showed up and popped the microphone like 10 seconds into this video, so don't just... Perfect. <laughs> So, we have a ban list, um, and it's weird. <laughs> it's super weird. <laughs> Look um, how mad he is! <laughs> he's so angry. <laughs> it's just so fucking dumb. <laughs> it is it's just the dumbest fucking thing. I love it. <laughs> it's the, one of the biggest ban lists we've had in a long time, but it's also, like, not really achieved of anything, because anything the good that got hit, they brought back some shit that's arguably worse. Um, so we'll start with the bands, um, and we'll just run them by them one by one. Um, so first off we have Arch Nemesis Protoss Band. Fair. That Good. card that's needed fine. to go. Yes. Um, and hopefully that's just a thing that continues to go, is that these turn ending cards just go away. Except we just keep Scythe for a format. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like so nice seeing it come out, because you're like, oh, they've realised, Floodgate cards are bad! For interaction. Yeah. About and then you that. read. Yeah. <laughs> about that. We we won this fight. Yeah. It's like, uh yeah. and then yeah. 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 It's an annoying one though. Oh, that that one was really bad because like it's not only a floodgate, it's like one hundred percent searchable and the player's got like several interruptions to stop you from negating it. Yeah. It's so AIDS. Yeah. Stuff so, like that and Scythe, which are like easily accessible, those sort of things should be banned. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's just silly. Look, the the scythe one is clearly a monetary thing. They don't want scythe hit before people buy into brave because brave DP PK scythe is like one hundred percent a popular engine, so they want to sell that off. So we'll see what the next ban list brings, which is another thing we'll address at some point. Um, Eva is also banned. Yeah, I'm so glad because I don't have to think about like hope. Is there enough of a kick in the teeth to try on? Well, they they have been kicked on every ban list. Yes. Oh, Every the single one. Stop playing it though. Are they? Yeah. Like. Yeah. So that's the thing. So they're not really done. Like. Yeah. They just have to change the way they play. I think right. now. So from what I can work out, it's less dependent on the fairy engine, yeah. and it's more like a link engine. Yeah. Yeah. Which and is fine. Can they not play orange anymore? Really? Oh, they can, but they, they don't can. You've so got way anymore. less targets yeah. for it. Yeah. It, me and Ben were talking about this before. It becomes more of a big board presence sort of deck instead of that one sort of. Very floodgate deck. Yeah. It went from kind of losing to Dark Ruler to just losing to Dark yeah. Ruler. <laughs> That's valid. It's way more of a me deck now. Because it ends under the mud from the gates. Uh, speaking of which, uh, they no longer have protection from uh, Dark Ruler no more because Imperial Order is banned. Woo! Yes. Thank fuck for that. Yeah. Needed to go. Yeah. When cards are negating like one third of the entire format, they definitely shouldn't be around. Also, <coughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> Um, so this is two, like, these are two hits, and then later the skill drain thing we'll get to. But, Protoss, Spoilers. but Protoss and, um, Imperial Order, so yeah, absolutely hate Protoss for PK, and I haven't been able to find my good Imperial Order, so I wasn't playing it at all at regionals. He refused yeah, that's, to play that's precisely why you should ever want cards <laughs> it's, banned. It's and now it's like, nice sweet, I don't have to look! <laughs> so I was like, I really needed that Imperial Order. Um, and we're done on the bands, yeah? Not to be a dead uh, No, there's one history? more band. I, yeah. s yeah. I skipped for the um, uh, sake of segue. Okay. Um, and then finally we have Smog Bird of Sovereignty, which is the Link 3, in case so, you're aware. I have opinions on this. I knew you were coming. <laughs> but the opinion's kind of relevant to the, to the limiting as well. Of like... They just fucking murdered birds, man. Oh, they didn't like birds they at all. They took birds out the back and just... Brutally it. destroyed Just it. Put it down, mate. Like, yeah, make room for Bray. Old yellow so so <laughs> link needed to be hit. Yeah. And recital styling didn't need to be hit. It was a one or the other thing. So it wasn't bad, yeah. makes the deck very difficult to like survive. And then you just get rid of the recital styling as well. It's like there goes your resilience and your end board <laughs> instead of just your one resilience. Of the years. Yeah. 
or making your own board worse. It could be a glass boost. cannon or a super like grindy sort of variant. Now it's got literally no but positive outcome. Don't get me wrong, I hated playing against that deck because every single card is like not once per turn and mm. everything's searchable. But it's like they murdered that fucking deck. Probably oh, the yeah. only thing you can do now is make Zeus, but that's like it. Well, we we're saying you could probably play literally to... just the new <laughs> fucking zoo. Yeah. To every person that commented on my ban list like prediction video saying recital styling to one is unfair and kills the deck when it's only been around for two months. <laughs> Look what they fucking did. <laughs> I was being nice! <laughs> if Ben were in charge of the ban list, you'd still have a link, yeah. you ungrateful fucks. You'd still make your board. <laughs> now they effectively are just trying to be like... F-Zero, and then make that like, solemn card. We well, only like normal birds. They've probably only become an engine now, right? Be. Like, the only chance they have of surviving is in a tri brigade sort of variant, right? But he's already doing tri brigade. But like the only way it can end is like F zero with a revolt. But we were talking about it before. You need like revolt's not the trap you want to get to protect the F zero. You want the other tribe to get. Yes. Card. Yeah. It makes it super difficult to play. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if people even persevere with birds or whether they just ditch it for the next engine. Um, but yeah, onto the limits. Obviously, that's actually a pretty good place for a transition then. <laughs> <laughs> because I never turned off the <laughs> aircon. <laughs> keep oh, right. Just keep this whole thing of oh, bragging up, yeah. talking. <sighs> uh, apologies for the first half of that video, because the audio would have been very annoying. Nah, the air conditioner fine. had some very nasty opinions about the band list. Look, it's... I think this wind sucks better than the one we've used previously, so... Fingers crossed. Hopefully it wasn't... <laughs> what about the... Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> huh? The door open? Nah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's always... Fine. Come on. Yeah, that's fine. It's ambiance. It's been a while. Adds a bit of character. Normally it's not this wide an angle, so you don't see that the door's open. Oh, yeah. But now you can see the door's open. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, so yeah, onto the limits, obviously. Uh, Lulu's recital starlings uh, at one, which is... Again, that would have been a sufficient hit enough. But yeah, yeah they just decide to go, nah, fuck the birds. Um, I'm going to get onto the stuff, stuff you there. like last. That's fair. Uh, Pod desires to one. It's, <laughs> it's such a weird consistency here. Yeah. If you're going to do one, you have to do one more. Can right? you? In my opinion. Effectively. Well, extra ad. I can't read the other comment. One it's a, yeah. the comments you can, you can I reckon prosperity. <laughs> the camera. Until, after it gets its reference. No, but even then, Pros is really like really? a duality consistency one. It's not really a pure card advantage. Yeah. It's extravagance as you flip side. Yeah. I'd say, I'd say it's been playing in more decks, though. Oh yeah, like yeah, but it's just like if the card advantage was the problem, like yeah, um, ex extra has to go too. Yeah, me and Ben were talking about this again earlier today. Um, we were, we're talking, talking you two because yeah, he was just like, "I'm bored. What can I do today?" And I was like, "I don't know. I'm doing things." And he's like, "No, we do things." And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> "We do things." Hey, he did this to me last week. This um, couldn't be a clearer thing of like Ben just wanted to have a nice day off, and you're like, "Let's do shit." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we were talking about things, um, and one of the comments we were talking about is how Pot of Desires has an irrelevant cost, but the other pots don't have irrelevant costs to decks. Like, it, hurt, it hurts every deck that they play in. I mean, yeah, I'm like, people that play extra have always care what's in there. Yeah, I'm like, are you, are you high? <laughs> like, this comment, I was just like, this is oh, so I dumb. you were making that comment. Yeah, yeah, the like, no, no. no. Yeah. That was really wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a comment on a okay. video being like, yeah, Pot of Desires... Is needed to go to one because it boosted the best decks and its cost was non-existent. But like, yeah. rogue decks yeah. thrive on desires more than good decks. Yeah, yeah. good decks play bricks. Like, yeah, good decks. You typically would play Pros because yeah. you play Garnets and everything like that. You need certain engines to still be your deck. Yeah, this is a format of combo decks. Like, yeah. hold on, desires is literally <laughs> yeah. the least relevant. Like, been in a while yeah. like, until yeah. Swords Hole came. It, it is legitimately playing the top two decks. Yeah, yeah. But those top two decks can just play Prosperity and then change the deck, change the way the deck. And yeah. also they're new as well. Yeah. Like, the only so weird. thing I can see Pot of Desires being good for. Is uh, the, the hit being good for? Is it will stop decks from playing talents? Yeah. So you play because talents if you play it? Prosp, you can't draw. You can't draw. Gotcha. See, because if you play Desires, you die. Get actually activate the talents. Much as I did at the pen, at the yeah. Ard regional, yeah. won me the won me my top. Uh, yeah. Getting ashed, going into the talents. Yeah, just on that. Fuck anyone that said talents wasn't good. <laughs> fuck all of you. That yeah. card is amazing. Always has been. You really got to think for hating the fans, don't you? 
Like, put him in there. <laughs> put him in there. <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> what was my hang up with Talons? I like Talons, but it was a. Uh, Required awesome. an interaction from the opponent. Yeah, but that's that was okay. I remember. Was I like set on it being a side deck? Because I'm. Nah, it doesn't matter. This is relevant. We move. Yeah, yeah that move. makes sense. Uh, okay, fucking desires. It's so weird. Oh, wait, on that Hit subject, Marju. how's your three ulties? They're chillin'. You got three, three play, play sets. Play sets now, mate. Uh, I do. You got some? <laughs> no, fuck no. It'll be back at three in a few. <laughs> two, <laughs> two lists. I've still, still got my three two. brilliant fusions that are banned. In and they're still... Oh, yeah. And they're still fucking gorgeous. Soon. So I'm not selling those. It's, it's still worth money. Though. Let's play Master oh, Duel format yeah. IRL. <laughs> yeah. I need an ulti brilliant fusion. My favourite format. So yeah, they're worth more than Dark Requiem. Well, you look that up while we talk about Monster Gate to one. <laughs> How do you feel about it, man? <laughs> this is just hit Mary FTK. Yeah. Yep. Yes, that super what? consistent FTK that I, I never saw you pull I, off. When I saw Monster Gate come to one, I was like, Grass is back, baby. Yeah. And you did. You were yeah. like, Grass? Grass is back. Grass? Monster Gate's going to one because Grass is back. Yeah. Yeah, the Grass is brown grass on the other side, back. unfortunately. Um, was it being played in any game? That was it. What? It probably uh, very uh, Mary actually, It may have been just to mitigate any impact that Snow may have had. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but like, because like um, Infernoid would have loved yes. a card like that. Yeah, when you're summoning Decatron or Snow, it would have found a home yeah. at three in any Light Sworn sort of variant or deck because we don't have Grass. So putting it to one is kind of saying Snow's back, but you don't get to have everything like, with it. Even like Thunder Dragon with Snow yeah. would work if you had multiple Monster Gates. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. Your only like, issue is like do anything, but... in decks like that, a lot of the monsters you're milling are summonable, so they just yeah. hit. Yeah, it really becomes like a trade off for uh, one to one, and you get a couple cards extra. You could play like Eldritch with Snow and Monster Gate. Oh, Eldritch with Monster Gate! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you can mill all your traps. I mean, off. that's Monster Gate is yeah, that three and Master Duel, right? Yeah, reasoning the three. There's something for you to try in Master Duel. In Master Duel. <laughs> Mary, not, Mary's not out yet. Fuck. Yeah, yeah Mary's not a thing yet. Mary's Feels, not in the game. Feels bad. <laughs> By the time that we get that, we may have a different band list. Well, we'll just play some other... I don't just want a different band list. All the fucking cards. Well, well just... Back that puts us on yeah. back of there. Just on that as well. Yeah. I don't think it's a coincidence that uh, Master Duel had like a, what, six hour update the same day the ban list came out, so yeah. it'll be interesting to see what comes from that. February 1st, baby. It's all changing. We'll see how we go. Uh, next card is Lunalite Tiger to one. This Ooh. scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I I'm just gonna literally do nothing. petrified. <laughs> and we're gonna get two. <laughs> and then it'll do nothing. <laughs> what? What's that man had a large penis. Mm. Um, what that's like? I don't know why I made that noise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hard keep it in. Keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Um, yeah, watch it be some bullshit conspiracy that Lunar Light players are like, no, no, we leave it alone for a while so it does yeah. nothing, so that way we get two and there's consistency. Nah, Lewis ain't gonna hold back. Lewis is three, already. And then we get three away. tanky. <laughs> like, when I saw it come back, my first thought, my first thought was. This is really busted. Why was this card broken? Oh yeah, all those other cards that are already banned. Yeah, that's a thought. Yeah. Yeah, so it might not do that I mean, much. They could Thank still, you, in theory, get to a... Um, Rank 4. Appaloosa, <laughs> no, an Appaloosa. Like, within 5 summons. <laughs> eh. Sure, but then what else? Nothing. The same shit they used to do. I guess so. Great so you, no one could ever come well, to a consensus of the same thing they used to do, though. Hmm. Like... Because remember when it won the YCS and people were like, fuck, come buy Lunalite F Fusion, and then Nevin was, so was like, that here was... is my list, I didn't play it. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally like the Chinese whispers of buyout. Someone's like, yeah. Lunalite won, and they're like, oh yeah, this is a Lunalite card, I'll buy it. Oh, oh it didn't you run didn't any of those? Oh. Yeah. But then like, all the, few, all the lists after that point played it. Yeah, because everyone they were all out. like, <laughs> we bought it, we gotta play it now. <laughs> we gotta keep the value on it. Yeah, we gotta put it in our deck profile so the people will buy it from our eBay stores. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that one is kind of scary to me. Um, hopefully it doesn't have much impact. Well, hopefully it does not it gets banned again. Either way. Uh, Astrograph to one. Uh, and along! <laughs> Uh, according I to our former, I should do that. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see his reaction, but according to uh, our foremost Pendulum player, it does nothing to the deck without Electromite. That's true. However, cards. Who is that guy? Well, I don't know. Never seen him. 
I haven't seen it for a while. Wait. Wait. Weren't we playing that in Pendulum Magician before Electromark came out? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes. So, just, just... so we're playing it at three. <laughs> Was it's it a time pendulum graph that gets you it or whatever? Yeah. No, it's not searchable. No, oh, but like you pop with the time pendulum graph and then yeah. Yeah. you summon. Yeah. But you had Electromark. Yeah, yeah, you had. Like, you've got Wisdom oh, that Eye that can point. pop itself, you've got Wavering Eyes that can pop it. You've got, oh, yeah, Wavering. You've got different. Wavering. Oh, yeah, you said Wavering, wavering. pops and searches and, and then, then you summon. summon on the new chain. Yeah, that's right, because it works like Multi Faker and that it yeah, sees yeah. it after. Or yeah. Gazelle. We don't talk about that, <laughs> We'll get the Salmon Grey, right? Calm down. Um, and finally, so that Logan can get rid of his blue balls, uh, Fairy Tail Snow to one, and Distrudo, the Lost Dragons, Frisian to one. There he is. I'm back. Why can't we have Jet Synchro? <laughs> Why do I smell I... burnt toast? Yeah, yeah I smell burning. I think Logan had a stroke. I've been to pen tennis <laughs> to talk about um, the stroke. Yeah. Stroke nah, literally, <laughs> like, Snow was like, oh, that's cool, without grass and monster There's the fire truck. That's why we smell burnt toast. Hey, yo, they burnt the toast the, factory. The oh no! Fire? <laughs> but my toast! <laughs> why would there be a toast factory? <laughs> be a bread factory! <laughs> Brad, what? <laughs> gone, he, he, Brad's going to solve. Why Brad, are you looking from where the cars are coming and not where they're going? He's going to solve the mystery. He's like the Sherlock Holmes of this time period. Yeah. There's this a is lot of he's the Batman services on this game. What's going on? It has to be close, in theory, right? If we can smell the burnt toast. Yeah. yeah, but those are those were police cars. Awesome, boys. A bit of arson. Awesome. Gonna be gone for a bit, so kill them. We don't know where Josh went, but he did leave recently. And he did say he was going to the toast factory. Yeah. <laughs> and he did say he was gonna have a burnt all the He toasts. did ask Ben where he kept his lighters, so. He's yeah, he and Blake are smoking at the toast, at the toast factory. factory. <laughs> <laughs> Terraria was a code word. But let's burn down the Toast Factory. Yeah. <laughs> Both start with T, you know? Toast Factory, Terraria... <laughs> I don't know how much of this is keeping you No, in. surely not. Or whether or not I keep all of it in. Yeah, you really aren't fussed on what you edit. <laughs> what do you put in I already know stuff? what the cold open's gonna be, so we're fine. Is it the toucan thing? Nah, we'll oh, see how fine. it goes. Anyway, back to... Is he coming back? Or am I just going on Are you coming hour? back, Frag? Baby, come back. And it's up a full <laughs> cool thing. I thought it might have been a fire at the end of the road, but then they all went different ways. No, nah, Toast Factory is like over that way. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Toast Factory. Win Stadium. Anyway, back to... So like, anyway, yeah. you were in the middle of um, tantric talk about uh, Distrudo. Well, yeah, I was saying, you know, I saw snow and I was like, that's cool. Like, if we have grass, that's, snow's good. Snow's viable. <laughs> then oh, didn't see... The didn't see grass, so I was like, oh, this is irrelevant. But Distrudo... Thanks, mate. Um, Distrudo coming back is like my heart, because my favourite deck I've ever played... Was like really built around Yazi playing Turbo. for interruptions, Yadi, and then you play again. Yazi so being Turbo. able to play that, yeah, Yadi too, and it's good. Being able to play that, that's my heart. So it got me yes, back mate. in the game. Uh, what do you do when you do your full combo, activate Distruder, your opponent plays through your negations, summons Dragoon, pops two monsters, and you lose because you took half your life points of burn damage? Well, ben, that's a really interesting <laughs> question. That's, that's a really good one. We should discuss that over time later. But I think you'd only ever... Tea in yeah, I think you'd only so ever just Strudo into Yazi so my to combo well. after. Like, when you're going second, you would use the Strudo to then combo to beat your opponent. You, you don't usually do, do it on to turn one, back. unless you're going to send <laughs> to, to make uh, Rylan. Right seem to be doing it in every <laughs> test, Dan, so we move. Yeah, we're well, struggling. <laughs> We move to the semi-limits now. Uh, first card we have here, a big favourite of Ben's, and he did call it, um, A Hero Lives to Two. Because we have a play set of ulties, and it's going to come back to three next list. Did you call it this list? I thought you did I didn't. think this, this list I did. Uh, At the, the very least, he said this in Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's alright. doesn't matter about previous lists, we're talking about now. Um, look, heroes need... Well, in, in actual fact, heroes need a negate, because their <laughs> boards do nothing. So... Give him a hero lives. Who cares? Yeah, let him pay half. Just means that they're getting to be with four K as opposed to eight K. No one, no, no one plays Dragoon anymore. People on that DPE train. People that can afford it. Yeah, like not me. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Fusion Destiny is now too. So that's one less card you have to buy. I already own my three Fusion Destinies, unfortunately. Oh, good, yes. He bought three Fusion Destiny, but not the rest of the engine. <laughs> they're I was thirty dollars each. I was getting there. 
It's it's hard when you're it's hard when you're yeah, poor. Yeah, Pizza Destinies were expensive. You want to buy one of them? I'm, now they'll be there. twenty dollars oh, each. Yeah, no. <laughs> Didn't buy them. I get There's it. a place at in the heart. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sell it. We'll still play stuff next week. Anyone looking for a sure. shooting Destiny? Hit me up at Twitch. So they give you something space. and then they take it all away. <laughs> 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 yeah, look, it's. I think it's just for the ones that like splash it in, right? Like, yeah. Well, actually, uh, Heroes in, play three. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. They never used Fusion Destiny to summon yeah. um, DPE. Summon they used dystopia. it to summon the one that, like, <laughs> yeah. Dystopia, like, the big one that, like, checks the top cards and shit. Yeah. That's why we got the two, because they got a Hero Lives. Konami was like, we can't yeah. have Heroes being too busted. We can't let them summon. They can't be busted. They don't do anything. <laughs> they summon. You got to talk Konami that. You got to talk Konami. Forza. They hard lock themselves. <laughs> the second they do anything relevant, it's like, you can only summon Heroes. Oh, no which, which which heroes can negate things that my opponents do? None of them. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, oh, they're so bad. Money, the moment they do go negate, they will be really good. Yeah, but they won't. They, they never will. Like, yeah. It's just negate. meant to be an aggro Imagine. deck. Like that's all it needs. Imagine to be. DP in a game. Yeah, OTK, but as, as people they can negate a long <laughs> whiff. Yeah. Um, Nadir servant at two. Yeah. I oh, missed this. I when I read it, I didn't. I did not compute that until later. I missed the so, restartle. Excuse me? The Good thing we're not talking style. about that now. Right, okay. He just sort of merged it all into one. It's like Richard Starling. Richard Starling. Richard, 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 Richard um, So yeah, just a consistency hit to Invoked, effectively. Yeah. This no, is your hit. No, nobody else was running this card, except yeah. for Invoked Shadol variants, so... Lots of arena is like the Dark Magician list for a bit. No, he'd cut it. He'd cut it by the other He'd long cut it. Yeah, this this card's like dogmatic has been not very playable. Like it's just been sitting at like a solid T two to T one point five. Like yeah. it invoked Shadol is the best variant, and it's only just won its first YCS. Even the one with the fucky rulings, it didn't win that YCS. Yeah. <laughs> that YCS won YCS. I don't think it did. Yeah, I yeah. think that's Shadol won the YCS. It did win that one. Something. Yep. Okay, well it's one two. Oh, damn, two. That was right after. But that was before Nadir out. was yeah. out. Yeah, and now they'll Wait. go back to that because Nadir yeah, was trash. It was it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it definitely wasn't out three years ago. Yeah. So if anything, like if people are super desperate to fill the void that Nadir Servant, just run another Maximus if you like. Or a Maxi, as we'll see later. No, we won't. No, we won't. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Seb is lying. <laughs> you made Brag um, laugh, mate. That's good. Um, Salaman Great Circle to two. Just when Josh was on the cusp of playing something <laughs> relevant, Konami just threw him a bone and now he's back in. Well, he lost his Protoss, now he's probably like, this deck sucks. Man. I want to play Salad. He has, <laughs> has no Protoss, he still can't afford Ecclesias. I'm going to buy a Circle. He has Ecclesias, he just doesn't he has run two. No, he has two. He can't afford a third. You don't run three. What? You play three. You play three. Nah. Wow, Josh has got you two. Just I mean, in, in the deck that I play to run Ecclesia in, you absolutely run three. He's going to use it to summon Albars off turn and support. That's fair. Yeah, I am. Um, but yeah, Salad, hooray. It's like literally only a problem at our locals. Um, <laughs> and Scapegoat to two. Woo! Yay. What was Tokens. it at? One. One. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> three. Yeah, I'm like, what way is this going? It's been... <laughs> if this was at three, I'd be playing a lot more control sort what of decks. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, I would. I'd play some no, sort of way No, because as soon as you start playing in three, control. it goes back to one again. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it at two. Two set. Some of the time, but not all the time. It was fine. It was only relevant in, like, a format when we just had, like, Boral Sword. Like, and Saiyuja. Yeah. Yeah, that was literally the only time it's been relevant, and it's just been sitting at one for ages. Uh, it was relevant when Trick Striker came around. That's like, that is precisely talking. the format <laughs> I'm talking about. No, but, like, that let you, like, you had no off-turn things to do to summon. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of the trap decks, like, are really all about summoning monsters like Eldritch can't play scapegoat, Alter Guards can't play scapegoat. Can you play in Paleo? Sure. Mega Toad. <laughs> like okay. <laughs> yep. Skill drain your toad. Toad's better than what heroes have got. Actually heroes can make toad. No, I mean, not, not if they, they start doing not, they, yeah. <laughs> not if they want to be a hero deck. <laughs> I mean anyway, theory crafting of heroes aside, we move on to the unlimits and um, this is where it gets a bit fucky wucky. Um, we'll go down the list. Uh, Danger Nessie to three. Yeah. Sort of anticipated that no one's really playing Dangers that much anymore. 
and Grand no, Master players don't exist anymore because one of desires. desires. Yeah. <laughs> one. Poor uh, one. Left arm for desires. He's got, a, he's got a whole channel devoted to Dark Magician. There's not a Gren Marju deck profile to be seen. No, it's not going to be on anytime not soon either. <laughs> Here's the update. The deck is dead. Yeah. Right. Well, that's um, why he said it's banned for you. He's like, well. Oh. Snow. He's okay. Yeah. Um, dark Eyes. No. Red Eyes. Darkness Metal Dragon to three. Again, um, we've been saying this for what? Like three lists now. Yeah. Finally it happens. People are still only going to play it at one. It doesn't matter. Former pal Skullcrabat Joker to three. Pendulum. Does Pendulum. that do anything? Pendulum. Had our professional Pendulum player said so that does anything. Brag. Cool. No said no. Yeah, I, I too enjoy not having an extra normal summon that searches me cards Pendulum that do the play. great. Yeah. Bring it's, back Monkey Board. Yeah, it's no. for the form, for form of hell. Yes. Support. Yeah, surely Monkey Board <laughs> could come back in the yeah. play. Yeah. No what do they do? Monkey if they board. don't give them monkey Electromite, board. there's no way they're giving them free scales. I'd give them Monkey Board before Electromite, free to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what do you do with scales at this point? You summon one, maybe two? Monkey Board. Monkey board. They, the deck sucks! <laughs> we'll soon see. Uh, emergency Teleport to three. Again, I think mutants, you and I mutants. predicted this, or at least I predicted it and you copied it, at least. Yeah. Wow. Something like that. Yeah. Just look, it's valid. I said it and he's like, oh, that's a cool. Um, it was a fucky ban list prediction. <laughs> well, it went to eight, it went to two, and Virtual World still wasn't doing nearly as much, oh, so yeah. it's like, fuck it, three. You had those Hunt coming out, and that then you had that new ritual psychic. archetype. Yeah, psychic. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be a yeah, ritual archetype. But hey, yeah. the field spell ritual spell. Yeah, it's not like an Albazi um, or Despia type field spell that just lets you ritual something. Is that like Punk Kids or something? Well, Punk is one of the shittier archetypes coming out in Grand Creators, yeah. and all of its main starters are level 3 psychics. Yeah, yeah okay. I, oh. I think the mutant deck is honestly where I'm thinking this is best Yeah, it's probably the only relevant, because with our next... Unlimits? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> You're well, peaking too soon, Seb. Even like PK could use like the 30 telly, because you can like end another I'm not sure if I would go for the 3. Deck. Not anymore. Yeah, like, I could raven that. I would have well, liked yeah, the 3 two weeks ago, but... Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Um, next card is Rageki to three. This oh, yeah. is a card I legitimately <laughs> thought would just stay at one forever. forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, along with Harpies, I reckon. Yeah, just leave him one. Da, 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 da. I think this is Konami saying, here's your cheap option if you can't get Lightning Storms for the casual player. <laughs> Right? <laughs> well, you Why guys, not make a re You guys, the least Konami thing Konami. No, but yeah. like, you got, you got three Rageki, one Duster, right? And that's like a very cheap like version of the good cards in the format. Or Duster nice. cheap? Yeah, just to read. Just got a reprint. Oh, I got a few reprints. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, we yeah. weren't talking about even the match. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my play set at? <laughs> I thought you had them. Western Australia. Um, definitely not Queensland. Definitely um, not Queensland. <laughs> couldn't be there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So to um, rebuttal on that. Since when do Konami care about budget players? They do not. <laughs> they care they, about money. They, they hit them. Desires, <laughs> they... which is like the only draw card they have. No, but Desires is a problem card, mate. It, now it they just no... play Desires at an upstart. Yeah. <laughs> God, Rigi, he can Imagine miss... upstarting into your one Desires and then they drop drop. <laughs> but just imagine how power creeped our game has become where a card that was banned like probably two years ago. Well, probably three years ago. That's it's it, now unlimited. It hasn't been banned for years. Like, like three time. years. Also, so, Rigeki has been banned for a, a long time. God, it's gonna be so annoying. There was a period where we got all the monster removal, and but the no OCG spell. had all the spell trap removal. Yeah. 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 And then we had to, so yeah. they had Heavy Storm Duster, we had Dark Hole Rigeki. Yeah. Does this turn up? Heavy Sorry? Storm when? Does Rigeki's turn up in people's side decks now? I don't think so. I think three Rigeki could fall. There will absolutely be people. I think it'll be like just going second decks. If honest, we like, get into a format where it's like monster negate heavy, yeah, like if yeah. B Trooper ever becomes like fully <laughs> busted, yeah. just fucking play through Regeki and you win. Well, well, I was thinking like it's for some of those PK boards up until before Brave, that would have been super yeah. scary. So if well, if you can force out the one Omni negate, this thing, yeah, if if yeah, anything no. goes wrong with the Brave negate, it also just forces the Brave negate. Yeah, it's True. a card. It's a free tactics. card that forces the negation. If you draw two of it, yeah. here's not once per turn. That's true. That's cool. That's true. I'm gonna make 
going second thirds with Zeus and Rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the inability to OTK. Yeah. That's just new Just making bad zoo. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, and probably the worst card in this entire list, skill drain to three. It is time to return to Monkey. Yeah. Look, I hate it. We needed it. <laughs> Too much, players too much players needed it. Too much thinking has been going on. <laughs> <laughs> too many combos. Yeah. I finally look at this band list and go, I can play a combo deck and then look down and I'm like, we are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Brain power is becoming too big of a meta problem. <laughs> We need to Us simple people. <laughs> it's been years since Bragg's gotten involved in like the meta, and you see he's come back and finally like, you know what, Bragg's here. Let's he's let's lower, also, lower he, the skill he level. He came in at like a level of like pretty high brain power. Like PK yeah. to play it properly does take a bit of brain Did power. And then he's seen skill drain and he's like, hmm, return to Monk. He immediately <laughs> invested me like I need my Elvis card back. <laughs> <laughs> like no. I, I know where you're going. <laughs> uh Yeah, like <laughs> Is Gorlord no, at 3-5 when you summon back on the skill drain? Yes. Because yeah. yeah. exactly. it's a graveyard right. effect. Return yeah. to monkey. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's purely what's carried me to nearly play Victory. one. Does this cannot be destroyed by effect? Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Does that also stay on it? Yes, because yes. that is still part of the graveyard effect. Yes. <laughs> Return to monkey. And that's how, like, <laughs> yeah, and true. 100% that interaction is made like Rigiki's where people probably still wouldn't have Rigiki or Lightning Stormed or whatever. They'll lightning storm the face up monster. The way you pronounce Rigiki. it, it's so hard. <laughs> Rigiki, Rigiki from Auckland. <laughs> Rigiki from Auckland, bro. You say Makina, fuck you. Oh. That's how it's pronounced. It's Machina! <laughs> grass! Half the board is grass! <laughs> I think that is, is completely irrelevant to anything that's been ever said in this podcast. I think it is Makina. No, it's, it's 100% Machina. Now you see, the important thing is you want to switch every time you say it. Yeah, I think yeah. it is Machina. It's like a lister. It enough. isn't like that. <laughs> Fuck that. Alistair is an a lister. <laughs> Why you didn't say the Alistair ban? I didn't. It didn't <laughs> no, Fuck it you. did. It was called uh, yeah. three skill chain. <laughs> 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 valid. Very valid. It's alright. I'm a good invoke player. I'll open invocation. Everything will be fine. Fair. But th that card is so fucked. I hate that back. <laughs> like if th if they had to give me a choice between the two of. Imperial Order at 1 or Skill Drain at 3. You take Order at 1. Honestly. I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> Give me Order at 1. Imperial Habit. Order. I'll just main more Spell and Trap Negate. It's fine. Well, we're just playing more Spell and Trap Removal now. You just main deck 3 cards. Yeah, you have to. Even in combat decks now, you have to main 3 Cosmic or like 3 Twin. It's probably 3 Cosmic with Scythe still around. Um, Even though that interaction doesn't quite work yeah. the way. Yeah, it's still... If, if, people are smart, if people are smart and they're doing the draw phase, it's it still... Cosmic sucks still. Yeah. It's just awful. I hate this. I hate Skill Drain. Unless I'm playing it, in which case, love Skill Drain. But as a combo player at the moment, I hate Skill Drain. It's not good. How long to tribute a prank kid for cost under Skill Drain and be told, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Well, you see. <laughs> Weatheries. Banish for cost. <laughs> Weathery support. <laughs> yeah, they, they already had like a fuck ton of stuff they could do under floodgates. Like yeah. they already mm. place a spell and trap from deck so they can play under fucking <laughs> anti spell. It's so fucking AIDS. And they're getting support as well. Yeah, maybe that's why. New weathery agree. support is going to be meta. Do you think a deck like first? Do you think a deck like Eldritch no. becomes relevant because of three skill drain and stuff like Eldritch that? Eldritch has yes. always been like a tier two deck anyway. But yeah. do you think it can rather like do you think it's around. a real pressure like tier one contender? Yes. No, because I think it's too easy to hard counter. Fair. Even with wards, well, like you just, the, you I just mean, play the three wards. Wards. right? Yeah, because every deck's in... playing side decking some form of mass removal. Yeah, I guess. Or so. like those typical matchups. Honestly, I think you have like either three storm and three cosmic somewhere between your side and main at the moment. Like with three yeah. skill drain lying around, you have to have like six ways to out of spell trap. But then you'll you'll do worse against the combo decks. Sure, but you but you have less sides. Sure, but at that point, you're going to do worse against Skill Drain. Against Combo Dex, it's the worst negation. Yeah, like... Also, there's not as many problems to deal with with Combo Dex at the moment just because of, like, like one, one of the biggest ones, well, two of the biggest ones, really, just got a, a decent hit. Yeah. So, like, there's not as much to deal with. And there's no way 
no way that with the Australian media the way it is that like fucking creamed hard over older guys that <laughs> everyone just doesn't go I'll play Eldridge. my trap deck thank you it's going to be Eldritch because everything's reprinted it'll be like cool it'll be cheap as shit to get cheap, except for uh, skill drains I think <laughs> me and Brag had the discussion oh, today where <laughs> older guys is not good for skill drain yeah no, no, no we can, had a while it we can had play discussion. under I skill drain it is not good under discussion. skill drain yeah because like Faker you don't get your extra resources if you remove their board presence they're fucked yeah so could it was, we had this okay. well this is the thing they can if they've got protocol up skill drain does not affect them spoofing or protocol protocol I thought it stops the activation for being negated spoofing spoofing for one I'm so sure it's the activation of Activation the effects cannot be negated. It's going to be negated. If they're just permanently negated, it doesn't matter, I think. I'm sure I've had, like, on proper things. Uh, the activation and effects of okay. Altergeist cards on your field cannot be negated. Okay. So they can absolutely play under skill they drain. Can play it's under just probably drain. still not very good because they've had the problem that they've always had in that they're just weak monsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if you're playing, like... I think if, if their effects can't be negated, there's definitely a strong contender there to play skill drain. But you have spoofing to shuffle them back if you don't have the protocol. You lose you all the if you don't see it. And it's yeah, like... Yeah, but like, how hard is it to, like... you got six, pretty much six ways to find a way to play the round your skill drain. With three spoofing, three protocol. Like, I think that... I feel like you've played Alter Guys well enough to know that it is not the most consistent. <laughs> it's definitely not, but I'm saying, like, if you're going to try and make it work, you could make it work. I think Eldritch is by far the best. I was going to say, form. of the two, like if you're going to like, oh, flip to a trap deck and it's hard playing skill drain, it's going to be Eldritch every day of the week. What about Draco with six skill drains now? And <laughs> one of everything good in the deck. Yeah, <laughs> and no masterpiece. Oh, imagine that. Masterpiece under skill drain that's unaffected by traps. What? What came first, the Jinzo or the Egg? Do you think Red Reaver, if skill drain gets out of hand in this format, Red Reaver will come. I hope way. so. I miss that card so much. No, it used it's to a be nice versus. Boo. <laughs> I miss that card so Ooh, much. Uh, uh. <laughs> I miss hard opening three of it in the GG Nats that. final and like just hard locking Jonas Singh out of a turn. No, three turns. That was Sorry. Cool. We got Skill Dream? <laughs> go, boom, go. That, yeah, that was effectively anti-skill drain because it's like, ah, I flip my solemn, haha, -ha, I flip it back down. <laughs> Return to flip. Um, the last thing that I'll mention with the ban list is uh, the next date for it to happen. <laughs> Fuck another thing, <laughs> so dumb. Oh, I had forgotten about that. <laughs> the next ban list will be no sooner than a, a couple months. of months. <laughs> <laughs> no, a few. So that's three. It's so oh, dumb. <laughs> it is. <laughs> It is the most vague they've ever been. No, no, no. The no, most no. vague they've ever been is when they were just like... You'll find out when you find out. Yeah. There was, there was, was, there, was there no... Yeah, yeah they, they used to not put dates on it. There was like that eternal format before Zoo where it was like nine months of no ban list. But wasn't that still yeah. a no sooner than thing and no, it just lasts? No, 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 no. They didn't they never had no that. sooner than until like 2018? Yeah. I'm going to say... It was the ban list when they banned I feel like we'll Firewall make it the no Dragon. Sooner than. That was when they introduced the No Sooner Than ban list. Yeah, okay. I feel like we'll make the No Sooner Than joke on the podcast more longer than that, but it all blends together. <laughs> yeah. That'd do. Because they used to do it every three months. And yeah. it worked like clockwork until like 2015? 2014, 2015? Because so went from three months to like six months. What they they extended the gap. No, well, they went, it six went from six straight. months. Yeah, sorry, from yeah, six sorry. They yeah. shortened the gap. And that, yeah, that was around 2014, 2015. Because yeah. three months didn't feel like long enough to have like people understand the format and kind of create ways to play around in the format. Well, I were think... they harder lists back then or not? Not really. Yeah, if you go back, there were harder in lists. three months periods. Yeah, because I remember there was a couple of nukes. There was a couple of shit ones. Like, there was I mean, the one band list where they were like, "Here's your snatch steal." And no. then three months later, they were like, "This was we'll mistake." Back. We'll snatch that back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At what point in that cycle did the pendulum like emergency list happen? That was the start of 2016. So was that in the three month cycles? Yeah. No. What? No, it wouldn't have been. It would have been six month cycles, right? 
No, I, no, I think that was still three month cycle. Yeah, because that was three month cycle. They went three months, yeah. did another ban list in three months, and then that's when we didn't see a ban list for another. Right, because that that didn't come out as a ban list. Yeah. It came out as like an adjusted list. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that came out as an advised list that at top level Konami play that was the ban list. Yeah, but at locals you could play either. Yeah, really? it was up to your local yeah. as to what ban list you played. People, that, I remember locals that had like a bit of a sore spot for some people because they were like, we just bought so much product. Yeah, <laughs> and we were like, we need to get some money back. Yeah, even and though those products was mapped. Yeah, we bought so I much s- product in that we bought like six packs from four boxes and pulled amazing cards. I definitely Jeez. remember getting a phone call from you as I walked in that day, going, "Buy the top two packs, buy the bottom two packs." And I walked in, saw Pat, and went, I'll take these, I'll take these. Wait till someone else over in the next box, walk back up. I'll take these ones, I'll take these ones. I'm not implicated in this game. It was a phone you call. You always, from... you always <laughs> duck this. Anytime this comes this, up, this you're just a... like, I took it's someone no else called in. Was... No clue. The other brand. It, yeah. <laughs> it was the second, sixth, and tenth pack? Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember Pat at that we time did not care at all right. about Yu Gi Oh! Our, our store owner at the time. Did not care at all. And then even once he knew about it, he was like, eh, okay. Even then he didn't crack the packs of singles. No, no, <laughs> even then. When he knew he would make a profit, didn't care. Every year at Comic-Con, there would be like one random dude in like the, the Wollongong Hall area, and the only Yu-Gi-Oh product he sold was Bosch. And that's I swear that same box of Bosch was there every year, because anyone who knew anything about Bosch was like, I ain't touching this shit. Yeah. Poor man, he must have known. Never by Bosch. That or he's hoping some idiot would come and be like, yeah. Oh, Bosch and Bosch. No, he's hoping for the little like ten year old kid whose mum is like, Oh, Yu Gi Oh, my kid will love that. And he sells one pack a year to that kid. Oh, that pull kid this pulls twin twist stuff. Meanwhile, that kid's like, I'm 23 now, mum. Stop buying me Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> actually, mum, you made. can always buy me. <laughs> yeah, Bosch. exactly. Mum, yeah. yeah. please, mum, please. <laughs> Sealed. <laughs> <laughs> you can Aces. always you can always buy me Yu-Gi-Oh card, Mum. I'll appreciate you. Please, Mum. Shout out to Mrs. Bright, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sell so those that... houses, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Get me my Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that concludes our thoughts on this ban list. Uh, what are your thoughts? Feel free to uh, comment down below or jump into our Discord, link will be in the description. Let us know what you think, uh, good or bad, and um, we'll see you on the next pod.